Welcome back to Syracuse. We're at the Carrier Dome. Glad you could join us this evening. <laughs> One of the regulars here at the Dome, the 2K Sports College Hoop Classic, benefiting coaches versus cancer. I'm Dave Sims with Bob Wenzel. And tonight, in the regional final, the Orange with an 18-15 lead early on here. And how about the experimental rules this year, Bob? Well, these are in all the exempted games, exempt from the, the number of games you're allowed to play each year. Free throw lane, one foot on either side makes it wider. And then the arc right there in your picture, you can see it. You can't take a charge unless you're outside that arc. And the three-point line is a little bit longer, one foot all the way around. And these teams have been practicing in their home courts with the, those rules in mind, knowing they'd be playing. The reason they do these experimental rules in these games is to collect data, just in case for the rules committee to observe and see there is some sentiment about moving the three-point line back. If you took a poll of college coaches, would you say that would be almost unanimous to move it back another? You know, I, actually, probably move it back farther than what it is tonight. There's the third dunk by Roberts tonight. Oh, and the second man. time he's made it where it has not snapped back. Well, he may continue to have more than half of his field goals be dunks if he <laughs> continues to play like this. McNamara, what a nice <laughs> pass through those people. Good step through by the big man. Keeps going like that. He may get a bill from the new AD, Dr. Daryl Gross, <laughs> for a backboard and a rim. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that's a nice thing to do. Good, good assist by McNamara there. Demetrius Nichols knocks that out of bounds. And coming back into the game, the senior David Lyle, one of the co-captains, and he replaces number 21, Khalid Gant. You know, Josh Pace was kind of a, a uh, all-around player. You know, even though he only shot the ball from about 12 feet, he freed up McNamara for no a question. lot of shots. I don't see anybody on this team being able to do that. Goes to some of the things I was talk talking about earlier. Hey, there's a layup. Andrew Nave gets it. And Josh Pace last year, at the last couple, three years, you knew he was going left. He couldn't stop him. Yeah, and, and he could pass, you know, and he would make these sort of running shots in the lane. And his penetration would allow McNamara to spot up on the perimeter. And I don't see that right now. Dievendorf is a possibility and Josh Wright a possibility. I think there's questions about this team. I really do. Lukowski turned it over. Six turnover by the Orange thus far with 6.36 to go. And well, those are the that's three a lot guys of, we that, mentioned. A lot of folks to, lead, uh, to, to lose. And Craig Forth, while he wasn't a big score rebounding guy, he was a presence guy. Change some shots, get a couple of blocks, started really? every game of his college career. And not only that, I mean, he was a great center in the zone. You know, he always knew where to be in the zone, so he cut people's shots off. That doesn't show up in the stats. That's right, academic All-American. 2003 national champion, Syracuse. Colin Short rebounded. Nave, Gore will get another look at three. Hello. Gore is uh, lighting it up from deep. Well, the He's game a is good night. He's got 10 points, two of three from beyond the arc, and the score is tied at 20. Second chance points. Cornell's got six points on seven offensive boards. They're doing a very good job. 